success of the short reports, which has then driven what we're now launching, which is these discovery reports with a subsequent update article. So this formalizes the relationship between that original, the short report, which is now a discovery report with its, with its follow-up, formalizes the connection between the original um, provocative piece of work that is stimulating um, responses either from the same group who may come back with a with a, an update article or someone else who's read that original report seen how they can contribute to that research question and and submit their own update article those are then formally linked both in our system and uh, and uh, within PubMed or the other indexing services the discovery reports are a very exciting piece of science that uh can give you a very flashy and, uh, and quick result with uh, preliminary uh, experiments. But that point out to the tip of the iceberg. So we would like to give an opportunity to, to scientists to publish very quickly this and be able to uh, um, spread the knowledge around the scientific community, which is uh, the whole point of science. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You make science to uh, share your knowledge and to collaborate with other scientists to move this uh, knowledge along very fast. I mean, as fast as possible. So I'm quite excited about those and uh, also because we tied them with the update uh, articles that can give a really nice package for a two piece pieces uh, of, uh, of science that are linked together very nicely afterwards. Another um, thing we are trying to do is, um, as I was saying, better reflect the research process and so um, provide a venue to publish things that perhaps uh, that are in this case indeed rather unexpected or new um, but um, you know and orthogonally validated we don't want to you know become a venue for publishing false positives obviously but um, but where you have a new finding and you don't yet have the mechanistic understanding uh, behind it, or perhaps not the degree of physiological relevance, but you have something really exciting and new, and you know it's happening because you've validated it. And, um, and so we will call these discovery reports, which will then be, could be updated in the future by the same lab or different labs um, with update articles where they um, deepen into the phenomenon and um, and uh, provide yeah, physiological relevance, mechanistic understanding, or perhaps, hopefully not often, actually saying, well, it didn't work this way.